One of our 365 days a year battle is the battle for clean water. There are a few issues that are more important to our community. Thankfully, we've made a lot of progress in that battle in this year. First and foremost, there's the Water Resources Development Act, or as we call it, WERDA. This bill passed every two years, authorizes water infrastructure projects around the country, and it's our best chance to move the ball when it comes to water quality. This year was no exception. This bill works to prohibit once and for all, finally getting rid of all of the toxic discharges out of Lake Okeechobee into what we call our northern estuaries in Florida. WERDA 2022 included several of my initiatives that will make a huge difference for the Palm Beaches and the Treasure Coast, and that includes the northern estuaries restoration plan, or as we call that one, NERP. This is the first of its kind. It will require the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to actually come up with a plan to end all discharges into our estuary. And we've made a lot of success with SERP or the Central Everglades Restoration Project, but now we have to think about what's next. And in my opinion, that's NERP. As one of the top line items, eliminate all discharges to the St. Lucie, harmful discharges to other waterways as a specific part of the plan that does not exist in SERP. On top of that, WERDA also includes 100 million for water infrastructure projects in places like the St. Lucie River and the Indian River Lagoon and the Lake Worth Lagoon. Provisions to cut needless red tape to keep the Indian River Lagoon South project on track. Authorizations for the Army Corps to develop new technology to combat the harmful algal blooms that we get in our waterways. Requirements to expedite completion of the EAA reservoir so they don't have to dump that water into our waterways and instructions to include Lake Okeechobee in environmental dredging and a designation that every Army Corps of Engineer personnel working around Lake Okeechobee will have a note in their file denoting their exposure to the toxic algal blooms that they experience year after year. Word is a big win this year and I'm excited to see the impact that it makes moving forward. In addition to WERDA, my bill, the South Florida Clean Coastal Waters Act, was also signed into law. The bill requires the first ever federal action plan to combat harmful algal blooms directly in our community. For decades, the federal government has played a role in polluting our beautiful waters from manipulating waterways to allowing toxins to be flushed into our estuaries. It had no regard for public health and no regard for the safety of our families or us being out here recreating in our waters. This law will help undo the effects of of that abuse. All in all, it was a huge year for our water, for our water quality, and for our community, but the battle is still far from over. I'm gonna keep fighting with every tool at my disposal to protect our home. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. I will be back on YouTube with more exclusive content, so stay tuned.